Hey everyone, it's Selena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome back. It's been some time since I've been, um, I've been gone quite some time. I think the whole month of October, I kind of gave you guys all a break. <laughs> if you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. Um, this is a crafty channel. Um, usually I collect a bunch of vintage items that you can use for your crafty projects, collections, those kind of things. Um, and I put them on my Etsy shop and I share them with you. I often have daily deals and things like that. So don't forget to thumbs up, uh, maybe subscribe. And if you do, uh, hit the notification bell so that you can see any notifications that pop up. Yes, yeah, so the month of October, I have been pretty much um, disappeared. Um, I had, it's the month of my birthday. So I had family coming in town. My parents surprised me by showing up out of town. My best friend flew in. Um, so it was just one thing after another. But those who follow me uh, on um, Facebook, I usually do random posts and things like that about what's going on and inspirational things and things like that. And then one of the posts was what I'm showing you today. So I'm kind of delayed. It's been weeks kind of thing <clears throat> that I was going to offer this to you guys. But I do have a wait list for what you guys see here today. And you guys are the first to be messaged um, prior to this video. So this, obviously, if you're on a list and I did message you um, and you're seeing this now, is probably because you didn't read your message. Um, I Like I said, anyone who's on the waiting list, I message you and I hold the item for you um, and all that. So what you see here are just amazing, amazing letters that I got in an estate sale. They're from the 19, late uh, 1920s, uh, early 1930s. Each and every one of these envelopes that you see have letters in them. Um, I went to this estate sale. Um, Sally, the family member had passed away, but this, this man, um, his name is uh, Herschel and, um, and his wife is Fanny. So in all these letters, the reason why it took me some time to get to you guys about these as well is I wanted to read the history. I wanted to go through these letters, kind of understand who's who and what are these letters and why did they take so much time wrapping and storing of these letters. I mean, I have bundles of these letters. I mean, all over here. And a lot of these letters have two or three, like here, I'll give you an example, pages. Some are just single pages like this. Some are, you'll see, I'm going to open up a few. All in all, Herschel is the man who is keeping all these letters. And they are letters um, to his friends. They're letters um, to his schoolmates, his sweethearts. There's some letters in here to his sweethearts. Um, and all in all, he meets this lady named Fanny. And um, he hooks up with her. There's some dating letters throughout here. I don't know which bundle was the dating. Um, and then they got married. Um, so quite some history in all these letters. So what I did is um, I bundled them five per package, and they're already in the Etsy shop um, where you can buy five of them. Um, and down below is the direct link to that. So if you want to click on there and run over there and grab your five, uh, five letter bundle and have a surprise by reading these letters, it's just quite amazing. In the listing that I also had made, I put the description of what the letters are from and who. I did separate the categories because most of the letters are like I just told you. But in this bundle right here, um, Herschel went to college, Ohio State University. So most of these are Indiana, Ohio addresses on these letters. Once in a while, I have a random state I imagine is from friends. But they are all, um, like I said, all, like these are the school ones. I'm going to go over here, here in a minute. But they are all stamped uh, with the cool stamps here in every one of them. And what's so cool about them is this one's removing their stamp, is they're all the different colors. Like there's the purple, there's the red, um, and all that. Anyways, so this whole pile is all his school report cards and records. Letters from all his school's um, information. So I was going to have a total different listing just for that school records and information. Look at this cool report card. So he went to Ohio State University. And that is his, he looks like he was pretty smart and obviously a sweetheart because he kept all his letters. It was quite amazing. Um, and so go over there, check that out. But before you leave, why, might as well want to stick around just a little bit longer. Here is a book I found and missed these letters. And this book had to have been his mother's. As I read through it, it was really cool. You guys do junk. A lot of you who follow me are junk journalers and, um, and this is one letter from his mom. I'm thinking, I look at the Inkwell script. A lot of these have Inkwell as as well in some of these letters. I wish I, I'll open a few here in a minute. But this was quite amazing. 
you know, I know you guys do glue books and scrapbooks and junk journals kind of thing, but this is a vintage book that his mother had, um, and it was about the Department of Agriculture in 1918, and she just took a book, and as you can see here, the beginning of the book, she never finished. This is where I think it just about ends. This book about agriculture, I can't see the word, my tongue tied right there. She can see she has some clippings, but the whole beginning half, she had did like a glue book, scrapbook, and in it, she had put a bunch of like flowers. I know it looks like you can use a lot of leaven or just put it on a shelf as a collector. There we are. So she kind of glued important things to here. Five little pigs. I don't know what that says. I didn't really read it. It was like her school days and she had put different articles and information. Look at 1926. Of different things there's different uh look at here see exactly what you guys are doing this is our school so this is like a little school book journal she did and look see even in the 20s <laughs> here you go again here i'm thinking these are all new ideas here we go isn't this a cool book i'm gonna go ahead and list this in the shop i have no clue what i'm gonna list it for but i thought what a gift and a treasure um, to add but anyways it's full of all kinds of different articles just so unique such a schoolgirls kind of thing what was just important to her like here we go what is this how age she glued this on there sunday school uh convention as i say i'm reading upside down convention this is june of 1928 and this here looks like she glued on here. Oh, this looks like the brochure. Look at that brochure. It's a play. So it's a play. It's a play printout. It must have been some kind of play. And here's the pages of the play. How adorable is that, right? Yeah, isn't it just absolutely beautiful? Sorry, I had to pause. Um, so I just thought it was a really cool book. If you want to message me, if you don't see in the shop, just message me. Maybe I didn't have time to put it in the shop kind of thing. But I just thought it was one really cool book. And it was Herschel's Mother's. And I thought it was just adorable. Again, like I said, I have piles and piles of letters. So it's just, I wanted to get through them all. But I, I went so far <laughs> as I could. Um, and I, I had to stop kind of thing. It was just getting to me. Like this one here is YMCA of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Okay, look how aged that went. And this is 1931. Man, so cool, the papers. Look at this header. It says here, Miss Miller's Tea Room. Look at here. Look at the header of that paper. I, I guarantee when you get a pack, you won't be disappointed because it seems like the paper, it's like the paper of different of everywhere whatever they had at the time you know it was just this is a three page letter it was just so much fun going through and this is from fanny this is his wife fanny i don't know if this is when they're dating um i don't know what year this is 31 um anyways the header oh look here i don't know if you guys can see that she puts a little like arrow to her head it says me and that must be you know girlfriends or something she has the date up here at the corner, but it's just, it was so much fun. My mom and dad, they found this at a state, so I can't claim to, um, and look at the header, YMCA. Maybe she worked at the YMCA. I am not sure, but there's so much information and history here, but it's fun just to get a random five or more. Like I said, there's a lot of people on the list that have gotten some, um, and uh, grab them while you can, because I know these are going to fly right off the shelf. All right, guys. Glad you guys took the time to watch this um, and go through this with me. It was just so much fun. And I'm glad that I'm able to share that with you guys. So enjoy these beautiful vintage, looks like most of them 1930s letters. Um, and like I said, every envelope has a beautiful letter. At least two, three, four pages, some are more. And some uh, juicy stuff in there too. I remember reading one where his uh, fanny was talking about um, how she was with some girlfriends and how they were having... Um, uh oh boy well just a good old time listening to music and gossiping about the boys so it was just really interesting and it's interesting too is how they talked and how they wrote and what was interesting to talk about in a letter like nowadays we text and we 
email and we we social media it, it like crazy and the verbiage in these letters are quite fun to read it was just the the difference of the times. so all right guys i'm glad you guys enjoyed this um and hopefully as much as i did this was so much fun and thank you guys for the patience of waiting for me to get through and read and kind of have a direction and where these are from and why all right guys you have an amazing day bye